In this unit we're going to take a look at model lines and model text. In order to demonstrate this I've created a very simple sports hall model it just consists of four walls and a floor and I've added some model lines to show the court markings and I've also added a piece of model text to the external wall to represent some signage. Now model lines and model text are not to be confused with detail lines and 2D text which we'll look at later on in the course which are used to document your design. These elements are used to embellish your model, say to represent signage or where you'd have actual lines on floors or walls or where you want to show components but you don't actually want to uh, place model components or geometry there so they're a really efficient lightweight um, method of showing something in your model without going to the lengths of creating extra geometry. So let's go ahead and look at how we create our model lines. So first of all I'm going to delete the ones we've got so I'll switch to a plan view. Just going to select all those model lines and hit delete. Okay, so to place our model lines, we go to the architecture menu. We look over to the model panel and with there we have model line. Hit model line. We have the familiar draw palette so we can draw individual segments of lines. We can do polygons, um, arcs, and at the end there we've got a line style. We can choose the style of line that we're going to place. You can create additional ones if you need them. Uh, I'll leave it on medium lines just for now. Now if you're in a plan view such as we are here, the work plane, i.e. the plane on which the model lines will be placed, because remember these are 3D lines so they exist in 3D space, the work plane will be inherited from the view so it will be level zero so it will be face onto the screen. If you want to work in a 3D view you're going to have to define the work plane yourself and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So let's just go ahead and choose a rectangle just draft out where I want these to be switch to single line find the snap points for the midpoints of those horizontals and just put an arc in there and for completeness I'll just mirror that about the center line okay switch to a 3D view and there are the model lines we've just created as I said, you can place these on any plane, but you're going to have to tell Revit which plane you want to work on. So let's set the work plane to this end wall. So staying in the architecture menu, at the end there we've got a panel called work plane. Go to set. Now I'm going to pick a plane manually, so I'll just toggle that down to the middle option there and very carefully hover over our wall and you notice at the top and bottom of the wall if I'm very careful where I put the cursor I get the blue bounding line to show us that's the plane it's going to select go ahead and click the mouse that plane is now set as the work plane so if I now go to model lines let's put a, a circle down for example I can actually work directly on the face of this wall. We've just covered model lines so let's move on to model text now. Model text can be found on the same model panel. Remember architecture menu, model panel, model text at the top there. Just as I showed you previously in setting the work plane to put on model lines on we also need to tell Revit where 
we're going to place this model text in 3D. So we need to set the work plane accordingly. So now I'm going to switch the work plane to this end wall here. So remember that work plane panel at the end of the ribbon. Set. I'm going to pick a plane. Hit OK. Very carefully hover over the wall until the perimeter highlights in blue. Select that as the plane. Now I can go to model text. Hit model text there. You get a little dialog box comes up, allows you to type in the text you want. It says model text by default. I'm going to put the word entrance. This could be over our main entrance to our building. Hit OK. Zoom in a little. Now you can see as I hover my cursor around, Revit is giving me the chance to place this text. But you can see because we just set the work plane to this end wall, the text is already in the correct orientation. So let's put it down here and click to place. Placing model text is really straightforward as we've just seen. But what if we want a different size of model text or a different font or a different thickness? Um, we can create our own additional model text types because model text is a system family and like any system family we can create an, an infinite number of new types. So I'm going to go ahead and select that model text we've just placed. There is the current type, so it's, it's model text and this one's called 600 mil aerial. Edit type, the golden rule, duplicate. Let's make some at 900. So rename it. So here you can see you can actually change the font. So choose your font there. Text size, we said we're going to make ours 900 high. Remember this is model text, so these are model elements, so that is 900 mil high in my model so that's the actual size it would be on site if you were to build this um, you've got the choice there bold italic and some basic other parameters you can set there hit ok and you can see our model text has changed to the new type the size has increased let's just select it again we do have some instance parameters here so we can change the, the, uh, the actual word or the lettering straight into the instance parameter in the properties palette there. We can change the alignment, we can actually choose the material that this is created in. So if you want a nice sort of aluminium or satin finish to this, you can change it there. And here we can actually set the depth. So how far the, the text stands out from the, the work plane. So let's go for something a little more slimline, 50 mil. Just deselect that, make it easier to see. And you can see the actual lettering is not so thick now. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.